of makes me look more like a Harvard man. I'm thrilled to report that you look nothing like a Harvard man. You came into my life. Welcome to Harvard Law School. I'm Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And why are you here, Miss Ginsburg? Occupying a place that could have gone to a man. You're the smartest person here, so just say what you know. Mr. Fitzpatrick. Last week, I was told women are too emotional to be lawyers. You can't quit. One interviewer told me they hired a woman last year, and what in the world would they want with two of us? You're angry. Good. Use it. There are 178 laws that differentiate on the basis of sex. There are laws that say women can't work overtime. We have to get credit cards in our husband's name. We're not allowed to women fly police military. We're not allowed to work in mines. Why would you want to? What's not the point? We should be allowed. I'm going to convince the courts that those laws are unconstitutional. I don't read tax court cases. Read this one. The law assumes a caregiver has to be a woman. This is sex-based discrimination against a man. So, judge was wrong? Mr. Martz, the law is wrong. They think gender equality is a civil right. You must see the opportunity this case represents for men and women both. You will lose, Ruth. And when you do, you will set the woman's movement back 10 years. You don't get to tell me when to quit. You should look to her generation. They're taking to the streets, demanding change. You would do well to remember this is a privilege. It is not a privilege, it is a cage, and these laws are the bars. We're never giving them. You're ready for this. You've been ready for this your whole life. We all must take these laws on, one by one. This could topple the whole damn system of discrimination. The word woman does not appear even once in the U.S. Constitution. Nor does the word freedom, Your Honor. <laughs>